Well, hi guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I've got a channel update and a mail call. And let's do the mail call first, because it's from all the way down in Arkansas, on Blueberry Lane, don't you know, and uh, Blueberry Road, and it's from my good friend Cutworm59. And uh, he had asked me if I would be interested in these, and I said absolutely yes, because we can put some of these on the goofy cart. Look at them apples. Woo-hoo! Custom, man. Those are moon eyes. They've been around for a long, long time. They've been around as long as I have almost, or maybe as long. And uh, so they'll, I'll be definitely putting a couple of them on the Goofy card. And speaking of the Goofy card, I haven't made any videos to do with it recently because I haven't got a whole lot done, haven't had a whole lot of time. I have the wiring up through to and uh, wired into the brake light and down into the uh, I have a flexible line that goes down and hooks from the back of the brake light down into the roll bar and then the wiring goes down and through the roll bar and it's going down inside the frame well I've got it down underneath and I've got to finish wiring it up through the frame and I've got to mount the brake light switch and I have to modify my brake pedal so, uh, but I haven't made any video of it yet, and I may not because uh, I'm going away for a couple of weeks. Uh, our daughter lives in Massachusetts, and she decided that she was going to import a couple of antiques from Minnesota just for herself, for a gift to herself for the holidays. What do you think of them apples? So I'll be gone for a couple of weeks, but I'm sure I'll probably make a video or two while I'm out there. And I have uh, another announcement to make. We may be moving. May be moving. And that would be move number 20. I was plowing snow the other day, and my wife was shoveling snow. And I, finally, I suddenly realized that I didn't want to do this for another winter. It's just too cold in the winter out here. And it gets down to, well, when I, we're not going to be gone during the coldest part of the year because the coldest part of the year here is in January, like in most parts of the country. And it gets down to... 30 below and down to 50 below with wind chill factors and we got wind out here quite often. And the snow we got a couple of weeks ago is still on the ground and um, it won't be gone for any time soon. Um, so yeah, we're prayerfully considering moving to Tennessee. We have other family down there and uh, Two of my wife's siblings live down there, so we're looking and we're praying about it, and, and I'm working hard at trying to get some of my uh, honeydew list done here in the house because I've been, as I'm always doing, it seems like when I buy a place, I'm always doing remodeling, and I'm going to take you and show you a little bit of what I've been doing. You saw a preview of it a couple of weeks ago, so hold on to your hats. So, I told you, I showed you a couple of weeks ago how I was working on um, trimming out this window and I had the, the bottom shelf already done at that point. But now I have finished the trim around the sides of the window and I know it's hard for you to see when I'm pointing at the window. But we not only have a shelf on the bottom, we also have a shelf on the top and it goes all the way across the air conditioner. And so now what I'm working on is building the chair rail which will go around here behind our dry sink and come over here and I've had to notch out from my outlets so uh, and I have the first piece of the trim for this stub wall here so my next step is to finish sanding them all and stain them and urethane them 
before I put them in place. So that's one of the things I've been doing. And once I get this done, then my next big chore is going to be putting down flooring. Oh yeah, and that's the flooring we chose. It's actually a plank, and uh, it's rubber rubberized plank so that it is waterproof, and it will be able to be used all the way into the kitchen, which is where this goes, and it'll cover up the the uh, patches that I made in the floor there for when I took out the built-in unit that was here with the mobile home and it'll take care of the patch that's underneath this piece that I just put over this piece over there just to cover it up so I didn't have bare plywood showing so yeah that's what I've been doing and I have one more announcement to make hold on to your hats one more time welcome to the Shade Tree Railroad. That was made by my granddaughter, Michelle. Well, because we're possibly going to be moving, I have decided that I'm going to do what I thought I would never do and hoped I wouldn't have to do. I'm going to tear down my railroad layout and uh, I actually went through the other day with a young friend of mine who is going to receive some of this stuff. I'm going to give away a lot of this stuff. I'm not giving it all away because I'm going to take some of it with me. But uh, in the process of tearing it down, I'm going to be giving away stuff that I can't take with me or I won't need. And uh, you'll be seeing more about that because I'm going to have my two young friends that are going to be the major beneficiaries coming over and helping me tear this apart. Can you imagine tearing apart that mountain over there? We're going to make a molehill out of a mountain. I am going to try, I'm not sure if I can or not, but I'm going to try and preserve my coal tipple layout. It's on a separate piece from the rest of the layout over here. And so I'm going to try and preserve that. And um, I'm not sure which one of the young men yet will be getting the turntable, but one of them will. And uh, yeah. And if we can preserve a good part of this, I'll be sharing parts and pieces of the layout with the two young fellows as well to get them started. And for that reason, I have already started putting together some packages with parts and pieces to get them started on their layout. You know what I mean? There's one there, and there's another box over there that I've started. And I got more junk on the floor here, and we got to go through all of this stuff. So, what I'm hoping to do in the next few days. Well, not in the next few days, after we get back from our trip out to Massachusetts. My intention is to uh, do a slideshow of my layout as it is now. And uh, just for preserving it for posterity. Whoever he is, I, I don't know him, but he might enjoy it anyway. Until next time, this is George. The Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and well, when I'm down here, let me see if I can get down, I'll get down on my knees to do this. This is the other thing I decided, when I build a new layout, I'm going to make it up higher so I can look at it at eye level. So anyway, until next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Railroad Man, and I have the wrong hat on, don't I? Oh well. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and there'll be more coming. And there's a possibility, a very slight possibility, that we might be taking one more ride on the Goofy Cart before we head out. Bye for now.